Yo, what's good everyone? Thank you for tuning in to today's video. As you can see from the title, we are back again with yet another review. Now in today's review, we are actually gonna be taking a look at a shoe that I did only pick up today. So I'm really excited to be sat here right now doing this video for you guys. But before we go ahead and actually dive into the video itself, I just wanna say a massive thank you to all of my returning subscribers. If you are new around here, please feel free to smash that subscribe button. Also do make sure the bell notification is switched on so you never miss a video. And if you do want to reach out to me outside of YouTube, you will be able to find me on Instagram under ACS Sneakers. And now we got all of those formalities out of the way. Sit back, relax, and let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. So as you guys have already seen the title as well as the thumbnail, I'm pretty sure that you guys are already aware exactly what the shoe is. But just like we always do, let's just kick this video off with the box itself. Now for this release, you just get a pretty standard New Balance box. So across the center of the lid, you just get that New Balance branding. If we then just take a quick look at the label, which reads, it just has a mess of text and it is a nine and a half as it is a personal pair, thankfully. Hopefully that's focusing so you can see exactly what that looks like. Maybe if you need it for like legit check purposes, that's how the label should look in terms of like placement, you know, text and font and whatnot. And then if we do just open up the box itself, I have taken the shoes out, but inside the box, we just get that pretty standard uh, New Balance tissue paper, as you can probably see, hopefully if that's focusing. And other than that, it's pretty standard, pretty bog standard. And, you know, we've done a few New Balance reviews on this channel to kick off the year, and this will be another exciting one. So with all this said, let's go ahead and dive straight into the shoes. So without any further ado, in hand, we have the New Balance 2002R in the gray and black colorway. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with this specific shoe, this actually is a JD exclusive. And this shoe did actually release online over the weekend. As I'm shooting this video, it is Saturday. So I think it was maybe Friday that the shoe was actually set to release on the JD website. That shoe sold out instantly. Honestly, I couldn't even get through the mess of the crowds to try and get this shoe for the personal. I did decide to go check out my local JD, which to be honest, generally never has anything that good or anything that's actually worth picking up. But one of my more recent trips, I did manage to pick up a pair of dunks and believe it or not, I found these just sitting on shelves, which is absolutely incredible. Like I say, my JD leaves a lot to be desired, but the fact that in my last couple of trips, I found the dunks and now these, absolutely gas i can't even lie because i'm getting into new balances more and more we've tried out a few different silhouettes from the 550 to the 990 v3s i get confused with the names just bear with me um i really wanted to try this one out next because this is one of the more affordable new balance models so diving straight into the upper of the shoe to begin with now the upper on this shoe does actually use quite a few different really nice materials including mesh suede leather as well as some 3m detailing now on the toe box you can see the main surface area for the actual mesh material and as you will be able to see it's done in this really nice all silver color overlaying this on either side of the toe box we then have this really soft charcoal colored suede and towards the tip of the toe, we then have some of that 3M detailing. Wrapping around the toe box, we then have a really nice light gray short herd suede, which feels really nice once again, feels like a really nice premium touch for the shoe. Now, as we then begin to work our way back into the midfoot area of the shoe itself, we then see once again, another combination of both suede, mesh, as well as that 3M design, but incorporate into the midfoot area of the shoe, we do also have some really nice hits of silver leather as well. And then slap bang in the center of the midfoot, we do have that enlarged N for New Balance branding. Now that's been done in mostly white, but around the edges of that New Balance branding, we do once again have some more of that 3M detailing. And then as we do continue to work our way further back the upper of the shoe itself, around the ankle collar, we then have more hits of that silver mesh, alongside more hits of that charcoal colored suede with the 2002 R branding on the lateral side. And as we reach the heel of the shoe itself, at the top portion of the heel, we do have once again more of that 3M detailing. Underneath this, we have some more of that really nice suede paneling and then slap bang in the center of the heel, we do have that almost charcoal gray New Balance branding. And then underneath this, wrapping right the way around the heel, we have once again, more really nice light gray suede with those perforations. And as we then circle our way back into the center of the shoe, we then have more really nice hits of that light gray on those flat shoelaces. Now the laces themselves do set atop a mesh tongue at the base. And then just underneath the laces, we do have this really nice silver hit with another N for New Balance branding. Unfortunately, this silver hit, like the silver hits of leather on the midfoot, 
it isn't actually 3M, it's just there for like an aesthetics point of view. It looks really nice, adds a nice breakup in terms of this area of the shoe, but unfortunately it isn't reflective. And these grey laces are the only laces that you do actually get with this shoe. I can't really imagine you wanting to swap it out. I mean, maybe white laces might work as an accent to the New Balance branding, but for me, I think I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I think the overall gray look to the shoe is pretty decent. But as we then continue to work our way up to the top portion of the tongue, we then have more of that really nice suede material. But this time it's done in a slightly longer herd version in my opinion. And then slap bang in the center of the tongue, we do have the New Balance running branding. And then as we do work our way onto the inside of the shoe, we do actually have this really nicely padded light gray sock liner. And then as we do work our way even further onto the inside of the shoe, we just have pretty standard insoles done in this mostly black color with the white New Balance running branding. Now, because this is the very first pair of the 2002R that I've got in my own personal collection or have even tried on or ever tried in hand, um, I did actually have to do a little bit of Googling to find out exactly what's going on with this midsole. As you can tell, just from an aesthetics point of view, it's very eye-catching. It's, you know, it's very futuristic looking. And even from how it looks on the lateral side, and then you compare it to how it looks on the medial side, there's definitely quite a lot going on. And I definitely wanted to make sure that the information that I'm about to tell you guys is correct. So if I'm reading this right, according to New Balance, the midsole has been crafted using Absorb. And towards the heel of the shoe, we then have Absorb SBS. Now that's meant to be there for that all day cushioning and support. But in addition to that, we do also have the stability web. Now on the outsole, we then have that energy outsole done in this mostly black color. And that's there for the added support in terms of shock absorption, as well as being there for arch support. So just to simplify everything for anyone who's not familiar with any of those phrases that I'm actually spitting out, because to be honest, it doesn't make that much sense to me either. This is just a very, very comfortable shoe. Now tying into the comfort side of things in terms of sizing, I would definitely suggest to go at least a half size up if you are a wide footer like me. However, if there's only a full size or your regular size that's available, just go with your natural true to size fit. It will be a little bit tighter, but I definitely do think you will be able to get away with it in most cases. But if there's any opportunity for you actually to go to your local JD, see if these shoes are available to try it for yourself, then for obvious reasons, that's gonna be the best outcome for you. And other than that, I think we've just about wrapped up everything that's worth mentioning about the shoe itself. So if we now just go ahead and wrap up this video. So just to wrap up this video, to give you guys an overall rating, I'm gonna say that the New Balance 2002R is easily an eight out of 10, could even be a nine out of 10, but because I've only just got them, I think an eight out of 10 is a fair reflection because I haven't really had too much of a chance to actually try them out. That rating might change, and this is definitely a shoe I'm gonna be wearing all the time. You know, things are changing in terms of how, you know, life is right now, and a lot of people are gonna be going back into the world in terms of going back to the office. And that's one of the main reasons I actually did wanna try these out for myself, just so I have an all day, every day, comfortable shoe that matches everything and I can wear without any issue. So I'm really excited to try these out. There's definitely gonna get a lot of love and a lot of wear from me. And I think at the retail price point of £100, this is absolutely incredible. I'd argue, try and find me a better shoe in terms of materials, build, quality and comfort than the 2002R at the same price point. And I do think it would be very, very difficult. Nothing's coming to mind in terms of Nike, Jordan, Yeezy, Adidas that are actually at the same price point. So for me, I'm absolutely over the moon with this pickup even more over the moon, the fact that I could actually go and pick it up for myself from JD. So shout outs to them. It's the second time in only a couple of months. So hopefully that look does continue. But I'd love to get your guys' opinions on it as well. What do you think of my latest pickup? Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you have stuck around to this point in the video, I do want to say a massive thank you. If you haven't already, please feel free to smash that subscribe button. Also do make sure the bell notification is switched on so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you all again in the next one.